Hi everyone, I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. Uh, my name is John, one of the uh, tech engineers here at LS. Uh, today we'll go over four main low voltage uh, electrical products and also go over selection process of each product. So the four products that we will cover are contactors, MMS or manual motor starters, MCB or miniature circuit breaker, MCCB, um, that would be a molded key circuit breaker. Okay, so the first uh, product that we'll go over is the uh, contactor and uh, overloads. Here you can see the overview of our contactors and overloads. Some of the highlights are we carry a wide range from 6 amps to 2650 amps. These are uh, thin rail and screw mountable up to 150 amps. We offer uh, three and four pole configurations. And we also have a vast variety of uh, accessories for any motor starter or control panel application. And of course, we have UL, CSA, CE certification, and our product also meet UL 508 standard for uh, industrial control equipment. Um, there are 10 different frame sizes. Here you can see the last five. Each frame size has a group of contactors within them. So for example, if you see um, 225, uh, Amp frame size. Uh, there is a uh, MC 185 amps and 225 amps within the, this frame size. <clears throat> um, all 480 volt contactors have a short circuit rating of 100 kA, and all 600 volt contactors have a short circuit rating of 65 kA. So this is the front view and then the side view of the contactor with the uh, nameplate. So on the nameplate, you can see a uh, UL size, NEMA size, um, and a uh, wire size. And you can also see the uh, date, date of uh, manufacturing and all the certifications that you will need for uh, inspectors. The contactor is probably one of the most common components in an industrial motor control application. Selecting one correctly requires some de detailed uh, information to be provided. So what uh, information is required to correctly select or specify a contactor? So there are three key elements to a contactor. So main contacts, also referred to as main poles. Auxiliary contacts, um, and then a coil, which would be the a part of the electromagnet used to energize the contactor. So, you know, in order to select a correct a contactor, you will need to know the uh, main pole. So you will need to know the current rating, and then the voltage rating in AC or DC. And finally, the duty either in uh, AC1 or AC3 or DC1 through DC5. So AC1 would be your low inductive load. AC3 would be your higher inductive load. So in absence of a specific duty, a full description of uh, the nature of the electrical load would be required. Second is the auxiliary context. A lot of contactor application require extra aux contacts. So for our product, our 18 amp frame size, which would be MC6A through 18A, come with a one normally open or one normally closed aux switch. So you have an option to choose between one normally open or no, one normally closed. Our 22 amp frame size, which would be MC9B through 22B, come with one normally open and one normally closed as standard. And the rest of our frame sizes come with two normally open and two normally closed as standard. So that's a really uh, nice touch there. <clears throat> and then the third 
um, criteria for selecting a correct uh, contactor would be the coil. So voltage of coil uh, would, would be one of the crucial um, thing to know. And we offer a wide range of coil voltages, and we also stock them in our warehouse in Chicago. And this is the catalog numbering system for MC contactors. So this is a really straightforward and easy. So the first section is the product amperage combined with the product code name, which would be MC. And then the second section is the main contactor. And then the third section would be your auxiliary contact. And then you would see a, a coil voltage. So we have a wide range of coils. And we also have a table for this. So if you look at the catalog, there should be a table for a coil selection. And then the final thing would be your terminal type, screw lug or hex bolt. Let's look at the overload now. Uh, we have an um, adjustable current dial, trip indicator, reset selector, and a stop test button on our uh, overload. And our overloads come with uh, one normally open and one normally closed aux contact as standard. Okay, just like the contactor, the catalog numbering system is also very simple. MT is the product code name, and the next would be your frame size, and then after that you would uh, choose your uh, uh, the type of overload, so differential and uh, non-differential. So the difference between those two is uh, differential is considered to be a higher sensitivity relay, as it has a phase failure detection. Whereas a non-differential doesn't have a phase failure detection. So, for example, if you're using a non-differential overload, um, it could allow a motor to be single phased. If one of the phases drop and the current remains below the threshold for tripping, this will cause premature failure of the motor. So, to be safe, um, I would recommend using differential because it has a phase failure detection. Um, here is the uh, picture of contactor and all the accessories that we uh, offer. Um, here are some of the most frequently used uh, accessories. Uh, so interlock, wire kit, um, so the combining interlock, wire kit, and two contactors make up a reversing contactor. Unfortunately, we do not stock pre-assembled reversing contactors. So if you need a reversing contactor, you would need to order two contactor plus an interlock unit and a wire kit. Uh, so the wire kit only goes up to 100 amps. So anything about that, you would have to manually wire it. So, so the wire kit uh, product code uh, is the UW. So depending on the size of the contactor, you would select a UW 18, 32, 63, or 95. And then the interlock unit from this uh, range, so 6 amps, 200 amps, uh, the interlock would be UR-02. For the bigger sizes, uh, MC100A to uh, MC800A, uh, the interlock unit would be um, AR-180, or for the bigger sizes, it would be uh, AR-600. And as I mentioned uh, before, you would have to wire this, or using this diagram here, you would um, have to make your own wire. Um, or the uh, wire kit. And we offer three variations of aux contacts. Uh, so we have side mount, and then uh, we also have two front mount variations. So these can be used on a 
across all the metal cell contactors, so in common use for all metal cell contactors. And coils are um, also, replacement coils are also available from 6 amp to 150 amps, and we also have uh, 85 to 800 amps. So it, it would be dependent, so we, so I have a list of uh, stock coils. So if you need a uh, coil stock information, I can just send you uh, a list. And um, we have, uh, it's of course it's UL listed and it's uh, meets all the UL 508 uh, industrial control equipment uh, standards. So, and then combination motor controller type A, type C, and type F. Um, if you, uh, do you guys have any question regarding the contactors, or you can um. Hey John, uh, if somebody buys a contactor and overload, will it come with a NEMA classification on it? Uh, you mean the NEMA size? Correct. So yeah, so on the nameplate, there should be a NEMA size. On. So I also included a NEMA, NEMA size table in the slides here. So if you look at this, uh, so it's not going to be on the overload. It would be on the contactor, I believe. Yeah, yeah, I was asking for clarification because, you know, a lot of people want to know if LSIS is a NEMA rated starter. And I know the ones that I have seen used in starter applications have that NEMA rating on it. I just wanted to let you confirm that. So let's look at the nameplate because i think i came across this so i think someone else requested us putting a nema ra uh, size rating on the nameplate but uh, um, uh, i don't think we have the rating on the nameplate here so it, would you say it would be uh, crucial to have a nema rating on the nameplate if it's a contactor and an overload joined together as a motor starter, people are looking to see typically on the contactor NEMA 1, NEMA 2, NEMA 3. Like, for instance, we, yeah. sell, we sell to Motortronics in Florida, and everything they get has to have NEMA rating on it. So when they use a NEMA, when they use a starter, which is the contactor and overload, um, it has it on it. Hey, could you guys hear me? It's uh, Stephen. Yeah. The the contactors have the NEMA rating printed on the front of them. Yeah, um, I see it now. Yeah, it's yeah, on. It's not on this picture because this is an old picture. So like we could actually technically update it, but like yeah, it'll let NEMA zero, NEMA one, NEMA two. It's actually on like below the CSA mark. It's actually on there, NEMA size. Thanks. Yep. Okay, let's move. Okay, so the next product that I'm gonna talk about is the uh, manual motor starters. Um, so manual motor starters are electromechanical uh, protection device for a main circuit. They are used mainly to switch motors manually on and off and protect them fuseless against short circuit, overload and uh, phase failures. Fuseless protection with manual motor starters can save a uh, cost base and ensure a quick re uh, reaction under a uh, short circuit condition by switching off the motor within milliseconds. So fuseless uh, starter combination are set up together with a contactor. Uh, 
Um, so it is also possible to replace a typical motor protection of an MCCB contactor and a overload with an MMS and contactor combination. And then, and this combination is also known as a combination motor starter. In addition to class A, uh, 10 adjustable bimetal overload, the MMS also include, include a fixed magnetic short circuit trip mechanism designed to trip at 13 times the maximum current, current rating. Uh, as you can see here, we have a standard model which is indicated with an S. H is the higher braking capacity model. And finally, HI would be the high instantaneous model, which only has the magnetic trip at 13 times the max current. Um, so here is the uh, front view of the MMS32H. Uh, so for uh, MMS32S, uh, it comes with the rocker type of operating handle and it can be locked in the off position. Uh, so as you saw, um, MMS 32H slash HI come with the rotary type operating handle and it can be also locked in off position. Um, so the difference between S model and the H model is the braking capacity, also known as a short circuit. Uh, Rating as um, so, if you look at the K A re, K A rating on these, uh, you would see that uh, the H model have a significantly uh, significantly higher uh, K A rating compared to the S model. Um, here is the uh, MMS sixty three S H and HI in this frame size, all three variants share the same structure. And uh, also for the uh, MMS 100, uh, SH and HI all share the same structure. And these are the uh, accessories uh, that we offer with the MMS. So I'll go into more detail uh, in the next slides. So the aux uh, contacts for the for the MMS, uh, we have the front mount variation and then and then the side mount on the left side. So the front mount uh, aux switch uh, it comes in two poles. So you can choose uh, between one normally closed, one normally open, or you can have you could have a, two normally open or two normally closed. And then the side mount, um, same as the uh, front mount, it comes in one normally closed, one normally op open, uh, two normally open or two normally closed. And uh, LA would be your any type of trip indicator. Uh, so, um, alarm switch pretty much, and but it comes in, so it doesn't have a two normally open option. It only comes with a one normally open, no, one normally closed, or you could choose a two normally closed, and you can stack it up with the LX. Uh, but on MMS sixty three, you can't stack it up. And the uh, LAM would be, uh, it would uh, serve the uh, same function as the LA, but it, this would be for the magnetic trip only, so when it's tripped on short circuit. And it's also stackable with uh, LX. So L means it's uh, on the left side, so all these are on the left side of the MMS. Um, and then the on the right side, you could use a under voltage release. Um, you can only mount one per module, and these you cannot uh, stack. And then RUX would be um, your under voltage release with the 
switch just like the ru you cannot stack them and you can only use one per uh, module and then the uh, shunt release so uh, it would be your rs um so uh, direct adapter for MC, it's called DA. So you would not need any cable wiring. And then you would uh, also have an option to buy a MU, which would be the mounting plate for the uh, MMS and MC. And you can also, uh, you have an option to buy a um, screen screw uh, mounting plate. So this would be called MP-32. It's only offered in a 32, MMS-32 configuration. And also for the, uh, if you need a plastic enclosure, uh, you would also have an option to buy a EPH-32. Also only for the uh, MMS-32H slash h i so this would not be a uh, suitable for um 32s since it has a rocker switch so that's why it's only for mms 32 h and h i um, and then um we also have a four mounted extended lower handle so either in uh, NEMA 1 or 4X. And then we also offer uh, PB, which would be, um, you can connect, uh, using PB, you could connect uh, multiple MMSs in a parallel. And LTB would be used for larger gauge wires uh, with the parallel connection to the main power. So here is the numbering system for the MMS. So same as the contactors, it's really uh, simple. So the product code name comes first and then the frame size. And then, uh, so frame size, we only have three options, 32, 63, and 100. And then you would uh, choose your uh, braking type, uh, standard high braking, uh, uh, instantaneous, and then the max uh, adjustable amp range. And then this would be a um, catalog numbering system for the aux contact. So front side, left side, right side. And then the, after that, you would uh, choose your type of uh, accessory. So X would be aux contact, A would be alarm switch, AM short circuit alarm, U under voltage uh, UX. Uh, UBT with the switch and then the shunt unit. And then for, uh, you would choose your contact uh, configuration. So for, so the voltage would be only for the shunt trip. And then the catalog numbering system for the uh, Direct uh, adapter and the mounting unit. So for is um, so the first comes the type uh, DA uh, or MU, and then you would choose your uh, frame size. So the frame size you can is going to be for the uh, direct adapter, and then the width would be for the mounting unit, and then type of connecting uh, MMS. Uh, so and then the type of uh, connecting MC in uh, AC or DC uh, configuration. So for example, if you need a direct, direct uh, adapter for MMS 63H with an AC operating coil, which would be MC uh, 65 frame size, you would choose a DA-63, which would be your amperage frame size. And then you would go with the H, and then AC coil would be um, A. So that makes DA slash dash 
63HA. And for the mounting unit, uh, you don't have to worry about the type of connecting uh, M, um, the MMS uh, type or the MC type. You will just go for MU dash the uh, width size. And for the uh, handle, um, so the handle product code name would be MEH. And then you would uh, select your uh, amperage frame size. So the handle is also not suitable with the MMS32S since the S version is comes with the rocker switch. And then you would after um, choosing your amperage frame, uh, you will choose the length of a shaft, which it comes in two variations, 115 milliamps, I mean millimeters, and uh, 315 millimeters. And then for the phase bus, same um, system here. So the product code name, amperage frame, and then the how many you would uh, connect so on you can choose between two to five MMSs. Um, any question um, on the uh, MMS? Let's uh, move on to uh, miniature circuit breaker. So our miniature circuit breaker are suitable for residential and industrial application. And we have two variations, uh, UL489 and UL1077. And uh, we offer B, C, D trip curves and UL1077. And for UL489, we have B, C, D, and K. Uh, as of right now, K is not stocked in our warehouse. So what is a circuit breaker? So a circuit breaker is an automatically operated electrical switch designed to protect an electrical circuit from damage caused by overload or short circuit. Its basic function is to detect a fault condition and interrupt the current flow. Uh, so there are many types of car, uh, circuit breakers. So the first one would be fuse. Fuses are uh, operated in, uh, in the event of short circuit. If the fuse is broken, it must be replaced. So they are one time use device. Miniature circuit breakers are small circuit breaker at home or small load at industrial field, usually under uh, 100 amps. Uh, they provide overload and short circuit protection. If the MCB is not broken after it trips, it can be reset and used again. And then the uh, MCCB or molded case circuit breaker is a larger circuit breaker at an at industrial field, usually up to uh, 1200 amps. So it has the same functions as a MCB, but it has uh, added uh, various uh, additional electrical functions. And it can be reset and used again if, if it's not uh, damaged once it trips. And we also have an air circuit breaker. Um, larger, uh, it's larger than MCCB, up to 5,000 amps, often used for main power distribution in large uh, industrial plant, where the breakers are arranged in draw out enclosures for um, ease of uh, maintenance. So there are two arrangements of operation of M, um, MCB. 
One is the thermal effect of overcurrent, and other is the electromagnetic effect of overcurrent. So the thermal operation of miniature circuit breaker is achieved with the bimetal strip. Whenever continuous overcurrent flows through MCB, the bimetallic uh, strip is heated and deflects by bending. This deflection of uh, bimetal strip releases a mechanical latch as this uh, mechanical latch is attached to the operating mechanism, it causes the mechanism to open the miniature circuit breaker. But during short circuit condition, a sudden rise of electric current causes a electromechanical displacement of plunger associated with the tripping coil of uh, MCB. The plunger strikes the trip lever, causing immediate uh, release of latch mechanism, uh, opening up the contacts. So there are two types of um, um, MCBs, UL489 and UL1077. So let's look at the difference between those two. And let's look at how they distinguish the UL standard. So for the uh, UL489, this would be a branch circuit protector, and it's it has gone through a way more rigorous testing compared to the 1077 to ensure that they will function as intended uh, multiple times without failure. Uh, so these can uh, protect multiple devices and circuits. These can be used both as a branch and supplementary protector. Common application include branch circuit protection in control panels, panel boards, switch boards, and motor control centers. So UL1077 would be uh, described as a supplementary circuit protector. So these are not tested to the same standard as a branch uh, circuit breaker. These only need to provide protection one time in testing. These, these are only intended to one single device and they must be used in addition to the branch circuit protector, uh, protector. So the common application for uh, UL1077 would be motor motor control circuits, uh, motor control power transformers, uh, relays, uh, PLC, input points, and lighting circuits. And these are ideal uh, replacement for fuses that are applied as a supplementary uh, protection. Um, Um, here is the uh, uh, the rated current and rated voltage and braking capacity table for the uh, UL1077. Um, these are mountable on a 35 millimeter thin rail and the terminals are lub type cable up to 4 AWG and these have uh, aux contact as well so ax would be your aux contact al would be your um, alarm um, contact uh, sht would be your shunt uvt would be your uh, under voltage and here is the uh, catalog numbering system so the the system shows the product code name number of poles your trip curve your current your braking capacity and then the voltage class so these are uh, dual rated voltage wise so ac and dc um so so 1077 is represented by h so 489 and 1077 are uh, MCBs start with BK63, 
but the 1077 would be um, H, just H. Uh, 489 would be H, U. And here is the uh, same table for uh, UL 489. Uh, one thing to remember, so uh, breaking capacity for um, 480Y-277 uh, volt, it's 10K only from 1 to 25 amps. And same as uh, uh, 1077, these are mountable on 35 millimeter thin rail, and terminal type is the same. And then they also share the uh, same aux context and shunt unit and under voltage unit. Just like the 1077, the numbering system is uh, very similar, or it's exactly the same. Um, so only difference would be um, 1077 is a H, uh, 489 would be a H U. And and for 489, we offer the K trip curve, so that's something different from a 1077. And couple of the sales points for the MCB, uh, we do have an indication uh, window on and off. And we do have uh, two different uh, terminal connection. So you can uh, use ring tongue terminal or you could use a box lock terminal. And of course we have UL and it's really easy to install and uninstall. So any question regarding uh, MCBs? Hey, Frank, uh, yeah, I, I should have a temperature derating de chart for MCBs. Uh, let me look at it. Uh, let me look for it and I'll send it to you. Okay, so if there's no question, I'll continue. Uh, so, uh, so the next uh, product would be uh, so for uh, UL four eighty nine, there isn't any plans uh, forward. Uh, in the future for higher uh, amperage, uh, we are, as of right now, stuck at uh, 25 amps. Um, if, if you think there is a need, uh, if, if we request something to Korea or the headquarter, they want like a number, like how many you would sell or is there any kind of market for it? So if you can provide that and maybe I can ask Okay, so the next product. Uh, so you mean like a ex, uh, like an external log for MCB? So as of right now, I think the best option would be uh, buying a. Yeah, so, yeah, I think for as of right now, we don't have any uh, solution for that. Um, like I said, if you think there is a, like a need for them, and if you could provide like a sales number or market 
number, that would be something I would uh, be. Oh, you're talking about MCCBs, not MCBs. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, so, like I said, I think if you, is there a way for us to get like a sales number or like a market number on those accessory or? I know that this, that's really hard to find out, but uh, I guess uh, we can figure out something and I can ask uh, headquarter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me, Kevin, I'll ask uh, headquarter about this and I'll try to update you on whatever I get from them. So we can talk about this later on. Okay, so let's go into the uh, MCCBs. Okay, I'll update you too, Andy. So within the uh, SUSO UL MCCV family, there are uh, three types of uh, breakers. So there is a MCCV protection against thermal overloads and short circuits and uh, ground faults. We also offer a MCS, which would be molded case uh, switch which are intended for use as a disconnect device only and do not provide overcurrent protection. So they only, uh, they contain a fixed uh, magnetic trip. Then there is a motor circuit protector or MC piece. As their name implies, they are intended to protect motors. Uh, MCPs are an instantaneous uh, circuit breaker that contain only an adjustable ma uh, magnetic trip unit. Uh, now that we understand the different, uh, different offerings within the MCCB family, let's cover the various uh, trip unit options. So for the UTE 100, UTS 150, 250, 400, and 600 amp frame sizes, there are three types of trip units. Um, these are FTU, which contains both uh, fixed thermal and fixed magnetic. And there is FMU, which would be adjustable thermal, but a fixed magnetic element. Finally, ATU, which is uh, both adjustable thermal and magnetic. For the uh, UTS 800 and 1200 amp frames, there are various uh, electric electronic trip units that we call OCRs. The OCR types will be covered in more detail in the accessory sections. Uh, before we close out the basic section, uh, there needs to be a clear understanding of performance rating of MCCBs and how they are represented in the LSA literature. There are a couple of factors that need to be uh, considered when deciding which performance rating is required of your breaker. First, the uh, system's applied voltage needs to be identified. Second, Speci uh, specify the continuous current rating requirements for the MCCB. The continuous current rating of an MCCB is the amount of current it's designed to continuously carry in open air. Each breaker is designed and calibrated to a specific amperage or current rating. Um, so F NFPA 70, the National Electrical Code, allows breakers to be applied to a maximum of 80% of the breaker's continuous current rating. Keep in mind that intermittent currents up to 100% of the breaker's rating are permitted, but continuous current applied is capped at 80%. So as you can see in this table, 
Uh, 80% uh, performance is indicated with the NH and L. So, and if you need a um, breaker in at 100% uh, performance, it would be indicated uh, with the T at the end. So the third thing you must uh, know to specify uh, MCCB is the uh, interrupting rating. The interrupt rating typically specified in Ka or kilo amperage is the amount of curve of fault current uh, the breaker can safely interrupt without damaging itself. Uh, as you can see in the uh, table, the interrupt rating decreases as the voltage increase. So for the the first frame size in a MCCB line is the UTE one hundred. As you can see, there is four performance rating. So the eighty percent continuous rated uh, is the E and N, and then there are hundred percent rated counterparts are ET and NT. And for this uh particular uh, frame size. There are three trip types available. So the first one is the FTU, which would be your fixed uh, thermal and fixed uh, magnetic. Then there is a FMU, which would be adjustable thermal and fixed uh, magnetic. And then uh, there is an option for MCS, uh, with a fixed uh, 1,000 amp magnetic trip unit. Uh, so the sec and then the second uh, frame size would be UTS 150. Uh, for this one, there is six performance rating, the 80% continuous rated, uh, current rated NH and L types, and their 100% rated uh, counterparts, the NT, HT, and LT. Uh, for this uh, uh, frame size, there is five types of trip units, the FTU, uh, FMU, and then there, uh, um, and there is a ATU, which would be a adjustable thermal and adjustable uh, magnetic. And then you can also um, buy this in MCS and in MCP. Uh, so for MCP, only three pole is uh, available, not two pole. So th that's one thing you gotta watch out for. And then the next frame size is uh, UTS two hundred and fifty. So just like the one hundred and fifty, it has a six performance rating, uh, and it has a uh, trip options of uh, FTU, F FMU, ATU, molded case. Uh, which are uh, more the case of uh, protect, er, protection. And same with the uh, 150, the MCP is only available in three pole. And for the um, UT, and then uh, yeah, the next size is the UTS 400. Um, six performance ratings. Same trip units as the uh, 250. Um, yeah, so pretty much the same uh, system here. And as for the uh, 600 also, it's gonna be the same. Uh, six uh, performance ratings, uh, same um, amount of trip units. Yes, so the bolt on lug would mean it can be used with the bus bar connection. And finally, your UTS 800 and 1200. So this is a, a little different. So the UTS 800 has a 
six uh, performance ratings, uh, but the uh, UTS twelve hundred has uh, two additional performance rating. Um, so the eighty percent P rating and then the hundred percent PT rating. And then the uh, UTS eight hundred and twelve hundred are. Uh, incorporates uh, LSIS, I mean, LX, uh, LS electronic, yeah. <laughs> OCR electronic uh, trip units. There are several options for OCR trip unit configuration. And as a result, the OCR has own, its own dedicated section. So the OCR uh, electronic uh, trip relays provide additional uh, protection. It supports it supports uh, advanced uh, measurement functions for voltage, current, power, electric, uh, electric energy, harmonics, and communication. Uh, they are only available on the UTS eight hundred and twelve hundred MCCBs. They offer uh, additional protections functions such as uh, overcurrent, uh, short circuit, and ground fault. So there are four types of OCRs. So N type, A type, and P type, and finally the S type. All OCRs have a long time uh, delay short time delay and instantaneous uh, trip functions. So the end type would be your, uh, your uh, bottom of the line, uh, this um, trip unit. So it comes with the uh, long time delay, uh, short time delay and instantaneous and ground fault protection. But, but it doesn't, and it doesn't have a display on it. The A type has all the N type functions with the addition of earth uh, leakage measurements, communications, 120 volt power supply, 24 volt power supply, and it, it has the capability of recording 10 volts. And it, it has a LCD display on it. The P type has all the A type functions with the addition of vector diagrams, recording of up to 256 faults and fault info. And it has a capability of recording events and it also has a digital outputs. And then the S type has all the functions and it can also um, measure the harmonics. Uh, uh, Frank, are you referring to the OCRs? Yeah, so these are uh, Field install, installable and replaceable. But uh, so we have done uh, a few uh, field in, um, re replace uh, replacements for these. But uh, so one thing we have to do is change out the part number for them. So. Um, I guess we will send you like a sticker or uh, ETS uh, ETM would be electronic unit, not OCR, correct? So yeah, electronic trip units for a uh, smaller. Yeah, I, I I think I didn't have the, those trip units listed on the PowerPoint, so I have to add those. Okay. 
Okay, let's go into the accessories for the uh, MCCBs. So we have uh, aux switches, uh, alarm switches, shunt trip, under voltage release, and these are uh, easy to install. And we also have uh, um, videos or documents on the instructions on how to install them. So if you need them, just uh, email me. So switching out uh, your What do you mean, Frank? Technically, yes, but it's really hard to do. So you would have to disassemble your MCCB and take out the front cover and then all the small components. It's it's a pain, but you can do it. But I would I wouldn't really recommend doing fill install. Yeah. So in this uh, table. Um, lists all the accessory and how they come um is they uh are installed on uh, our mccb uh, we also have uh, padlocking uh, devices on um, this uh, padlocking device allows the handle to be locked in off position. A maximum of three padlocks with shackle diameters of 0.919 to 0.31 inches may be used. A fixed plate handle locking devices uh, is available for from um, NT100 from to uh, UTS 1200 circuit breakers. This device allows the handle to be locked in the on and off position. Um, we also have a mechanical interlocking device option. The mechanical interlock can be applied on the front of the two breakers mounted side by side in either the two pole or three pole versions. And it prevents uh, simultaneous uh, closing of the two, two, two breakers. And we also have uh, terminal covers for UTS 800 and 1200. And then there is a uh, installation of uh, installation barriers. And then uh, our handles. So our handles are kind of tricky to uh, So the part numbering system is kind of tricky and there is a lot of uh, part numbers that's associated with the uh, handles. There is parts for like a uh, shaft, parts for the uh, handle and then the mounting unit so it's really uh, tricky so what i did was uh, make a, so we made a excel sheet on how to correctly select the handle so i'll forward everyone who's in this meeting or webinar and i'll forward this uh, excel sheet to you guys so this is the excel sheet let me try to share this to you all on the screen.
So this would be the uh, Excel sheet for the handle. So it shows you uh, NEMA rating and the uh, length of the shaft. If these are the compact type or not. So it also has, if you look at the description, it also has all the part number for them. So So if you need like REH and so with the 16 uh, inch shaft, you would go here and just select the correct part number and just put it into your PO. So we have this for the uh, UTE 100, UTS 152-250. And then we also have, uh, yeah, we all have all the sizes here. So I'll share this to everyone. And if you have any question about this, you can always uh, email me. These are the all the certification for the MCCB UL four eighty nine, UL five hundred eight, UL four eighty six for the logs and NEMA types. We offer type one, twelve, three, three R, four, and four X. And then the nuclear power plant application Q class one E. I, I'm not sure, 100% sure if we have any update on this, but I'll check in. And if you have any question about this, let me know. And for the PowerPoints today, and if you have any any question, you can email me at uh, this uh, email address, or you can email me at uh, techsupport.us. Uh, any question or comments? Okay. All right. Thanks. Thanks, guys. If you have any question or if you have any um, comments, you can always email me or call me.